All right, BMW 1250GS upper crash bars installation. On the table here, I have the right side, left side. This is the cross brace. It's pre-installed, but this is what's gonna look like. The supplied hardware two, M8 by 100 millimeter long bolts plus washer plus nylon nut. It's got a special uh, hex head custom made solution. We'll explain to you why. We got four of these six by 25 millimeter long hex bolts for the two C clamps, as well as two M8 by 20 millimeter long bolts, two washers, nylock nuts, two small spacers. The small spacers, these are uh, for M6 bolt. These are optional in case you have the OEM, BMW driving lights or auxiliary lights. And this is the actual OEM bolt for it. We'll explain that later. The tools we'll be using, a ratchet, a 13 millimeter wrench or spanner, uh, ratchet extension, 13 millimeter hex socket, 10, 10 millimeter hex socket and an eight millimeter eight mil hex socket. So now here you're gonna grab that long um, hex bolt. Actually it's the, the top is flat and you're gonna have to wiggle it in gently next to the headlight drop it in and the corresponding hole also is shaped like a hex like that back there it's a bit finicky take your time let it drop in without forcing it too much it's in place and it's going to go into its hex hex shaped hole like so. You will do the same on, on both sides. Once it's, it's in place, it's not gonna be able to spin around because it's, uh, it's the hex uh, hole for the hex bolt. So it's in place. Down here, you will put on the bracket and then spit on the, the nut with the, the washer installed. You can prevent the bolt from being pushed up by keeping a finger on, on top of it, up top here. Okay, so once this is on, leave it nice and loose. We have the additional um, BMW OEM driving okay. lights. We'll be installing the left side first, but it's your choice. So left side, and we have the M8 bolt prepared with the washers. Push it through, this is the, the first the, the front hole and then the washer on the back side and spin on the nylock nut. So once it's on, the the bar is in place, the, tube, uh, the, the crash bar is in place, it's not gonna fall off. Leave it loose, no tools at this point. This small six millimeter hole, this is gonna be for the OEM driving light, but that's at the end. Here, this is the, the C-clamp, now engages with the lower crash bars tubing. Grab the, the counterpart. There's the counterpart. Push, uh, drop the bolt in from the top. And at the bottom, you can spin on the nylock nut. And at the bottom, you're not gonna need to use any tools because the hex nut will sit in its corresponding place, which is like a uh, hex shaped notch. And you have to keep your finger on it. And on the top, you will be able to start tightening it without having a tool at the bottom. Now the other side, drop the bolt in from the top, spin on the nylock nut. Okay, left side is on, so you don't need to tighten it. Let's finish the right side and then we can go around and tighten the bolt. So now let's go on the right side. It's the very same process on this side. Grab the M8 bolt with the two washers, nylock nut, 
mount the right side, push the bolt through on the back side washer, put it on and spin on the nylock nut like so. C-clamp, counterpart goes on the bottom of the tubing of the lower crash bars. Drop in the, the bolt and on the bottom side, spin on the nylock nut. Done. Right side's on as well. Super nice and loose, exactly how we want. Now you can actually start tightening the bolts gradually. Don't go too hard at each bolt at a time. Don't pull it too snug. Go around gently and gradually tighten. Finally, the torque specs for the eight millimeter diameter bolt up top and down here it's 23 newton meter for a six millimeter down here it's 9.7 newton meter okay here's the additional uh oem driving light mounting push the bolt halfway through put the little spacer in between on the back side like that, push the bolt through halfway to about here, and then put in the spacer, bolt comes through, and then spin on the OEM nut. And that's that. And then you need to adjust the height of your lights the way you like it, or the way it's supposed to be. And that's it pretty much. So now the upper bars have been installed. This is the final look. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. If you have any questions, you can also call 877-931-3636 or email info at outbackmototech.com.